Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will study shift register. In the last lecture, we have seen what is a register. We have also seen one type of register. I told you that there can be many different type of register. Okay, because you can notice register is a n bit storage. That is fine. Okay, if you want to store four bit data, then you can store. But depending on how the data is inserted, okay, how you are inserting the data. how you are taking out the data okay how you are reading the data and how you are putting the data in the register okay so basically depending on how the data is moved okay depending on the data movement i can say that the registers are uh, the, the the registers can be basically okay can be categorized in many different category okay so i told you this diagram we have already seen and i told you that based on the data movement okay within the register within the register how the data is moved okay how you are putting the data inside the register how you are reading the data out of the register basically depending on that depending on the data movement within the register i can say that register can be classified in many different categories okay now these categories we have already seen in the last class okay and we have already seen this this type of register we have already seen we have created this register how to implement this register we have already seen okay in this register basically you can notice that in this register we are putting the data in parallel and we are reading the data in parallel so basically the insertion of data in the register that is done in parallel and the okay the data is read okay we are reading the data from this register in a parallel okay so this register this type of register we have already seen and we call it parallel in parallel out register correct okay now in this lecture what we are going to study that is something called a shift register what is this shift register shift register is basically a register this is a special type of register okay so shift register is a register the name itself is telling you okay the name is telling you that shift basically we are shifting the data either we are shifting the data to the left or we are shifting to the data right okay so shift register basically this is a register in which either we have shift left okay either we either we have uh, basically either we shift the data to the left or we shift data to the right okay so this this type of register is called shift register you can notice a shift register is a register in which binary data can be stored that is fine actually in every register binary data can be stored that you already know whatever register you take for example this register this register this register whatever register you take binary data we can store because register is a n bit data storage device okay so you can notice shift register register is a special register in which binary data can be stored and this data can be shifted to the left or right when we apply a signal shift signal so there is a shift signal when we apply that signal then this data can be shift to left or right okay now <clears throat> let's see these these are the different different types of registers let's see which of them are shift registers okay so let's see which of them are shift registers which of them are called shift registers okay so shift registers you can notice this is this is a shift register okay this is a shift register because data is shifting from left to right okay so this is a shift register we call it shift right register okay so you can notice this is a shift register and we are shifting the data from left to right okay so the data is being shifted to the right okay so that is the reason this is called shift right register similarly this is a shift register okay because the data is being shifted to the left okay we are shifting the data from right to left so the data is going from uh, the data is shifted uh, to the left okay so this is also a shift register okay this is also a shift register because you can notice that we have this serial out capacity okay so you can notice this is also a shift register because we are shifting the data to the right you can notice okay so in this register you can notice that we are inserting the data in parallel okay so the insertion of data is done in parallel but we are reading the data in serial manner okay we are reading the data one bit at a time okay we are reading the data in a serial manner not in a parallel manner we are reading the data in a serial manner okay so again this is a shift register because we are shifting the data to the right okay to read the data we are shifting the data to the right okay and in this this is also shift register why because in this you can notice to insert the data if you want to insert the data in this register then we are shifting the data to the right okay so that is the reason this is also shift register in this register you can notice that we are shifting the data in serial manner okay if you want to insert the data inside this register then you will do 
this in serial manner okay one by one one bit at a time so one by one you will you will insert the data in this register but we can read the data okay in parallel okay we can read if you want to read the data you can read the data in parallel okay so this is also shift register so because you can notice that data is being shifted to the right okay we are shifting the data to the right okay this is not a shift register this is not a shift register this we have already seen in the last class this is not a shift register because in this register you can notice we are putting we are inserting the data in parallel and we are taking the data in, okay basically we are reading the data in parallel we are inserting the data in parallel there is no shifting we are not shifting to the left or to the right i told you the definition of shift register this is the definition of shift register that shift register is a register in which the data is shifted to the left or right the data you can notice you can notice the data can be shifted okay so this data can be shifted to the left or right to the left or right okay so this type of so you can note this is not a shift register this is also a shift register this is also a shift register okay so you can notice all uh, okay except this apart from this okay all other are shift register okay so this is our topic what is a shift register i hope this point is clear to everyone now in this shift register you can notice okay just read this point okay what this is saying this is saying that when you shift for example okay let me let me take one example let us assume this is your shift register okay and let's assume in this shift register we are shifting the data to the right okay so let's assume that this is your shift register and right now you have this data let's assume this data you have okay this is your shift register now if this is your shift register okay and then let's assume i am shifting the data to the right then what will happen if i am shifting to the data this is your right shift register let's assume okay so this is let's assume this is your right shift register right shift register what it means right shift register what it means that in the next close in the next clock pulse okay you can notice this is a register so there is a clock okay there is a clock i told you that in the register all the flip flop they share the common clock okay so there is a common clock you can notice okay there is a common clock so all the flip flop they share the common clock okay let us assume that these flip flop this 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 let us assume these three flip flop all of them are positive edge triggered what it means it means that when the clock will go from low to high okay when this clock basically on this positive edge okay on this positive edge what will happen this this is your right shift register so the data will shift to the right okay so the data will be shifted to the right so when this clock goes from low to high then what will happen this data will be shifted to the right so when you are shifting this data to the right then this will happen that okay the data is being shifted to the right so this zero will come here this zero will be lost okay this one will come here and new and something new okay new data will be inserted here okay so i can say new data will be inserted here okay so you can notice this new data will be inserted here okay this one will go here this zero will go here and this zero will be lost so you can notice that okay you can notice that bits shifted out of uh, one end may be lost either they can be lost for example if you have right shift register okay take this example okay so take this example consider this example in this example you can notice that this data this last bit this will be lost okay this will be lost okay so you can notice this bit okay here this bit is basically i can say this bit here is lost okay so this is what we are saying that when okay the bits are shifted from one end for example if you have right shift register then this rightmost bit okay this will be lost or 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 what can happen see okay consider this category consider this now consider this 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 you consider in this you can notice this is left shift okay because the data is being shifted to the left so this is left shift now you can notice if you have this data okay let us assume you have this data 0 1 1 now you can notice what will happen this one will go here this one will go here and you can notice that this zero will be shifted to okay this part okay so basically this zero will be shifted this zero will be shifted on the other end okay okay so this is what we are saying you can notice so the bit shifted out of one end may be lost or if the shift register is of cyclic type then bit shifted out of one end may be shifted back into another end so this is your this is a shift register of cyclic type okay you cannot this is a shift register of cyclic type so you can notice here also this bit this bit will be this will, will be shifted here okay so this is the idea so this is the idea of shift register 
I hope the definition is clear to everyone. So you can notice the definition again. You can notice the shift register is a special type of register in which you can store the data and also the data can be shifted to the left or to the right when you apply the signal. Okay. So you can notice new bit. Okay. The new data will be inserted from one end. So you, okay. For example, this data, this new data, you can notice this new data will be inserted from one end and from the other end, you can notice this data will be launched or this data may be okay. Maybe you can put this data on the other end okay so like this okay now you <clears throat> let's let's take uh, example of shift register so you can notice that okay there are three type okay in this shift register what you, what we do in this shift register okay consider this register consider look at this register okay so you can notice we have total four flip flop okay flip flop one okay flip flop one flip flop two flip flop three flip flop four okay so total four flip flop we have so this is a four bit register you can notice I told you in a register that uh, every flip flop is basically okay is uh, I can say same clock is applied to all the flip flop so you can notice all these flip flop they are they are working okay basically based on this clock so the same clock is applied on all the flip flop okay and you can notice in this flip flop you can notice that okay so this is the data that you are inserting and you can notice the output of the flip flop one is connected to the input of flip flop two the output of flip flop two is connected to the input of flip flop three and output of flip flop three is connected to the input of a flip flop four so now in this okay just look at this example just look at this uh this diagram you look at okay this is your shift register why this is a shift register let me tell you let us assume that initially okay so why this is a shift register let's let's consider this so this is what we are going to see okay so this is the example now let's see why this is a shift register why okay because the data will be shifted okay in this actually you can notice the data will be shifted to the right okay because here from one end from left we will insert the data and you can notice this data will be in, will be shifted like this this is actually right shift register how this will work let's check it out okay so let us see let us assume that you are inserting this data okay so on this on this uh here you are applying okay so this data you are applying from the external source okay so from outside you want to insert this data one okay and let us assume that already already in this register we have zero 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 okay so let us assume initially you have zero 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 initially this is the initial setup okay let us assume this is the initial setup so let me write it here okay so let us assume initially initially this register remember this is a register so initially this register okay this register holds okay holds data so in this register you have this data zero 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 what it means it means that this is zero it means this means that this is zero this is zero this is zero and this is zero okay so you can notice this is your register in this register initially the data is zero 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 let us assume that you apply okay what you do you insert you want to insert this data one okay so what you do you apply this in you this data you apply here okay now when the clock because you can notice that all these flip flop they are positive as triggered what it means that it means that whenever this clock will go from zero to okay from low to high when this clock will go from low to high this is your okay so this positive age okay so you can notice when this clock will go from low to high then what will happen then these flip flop will be triggered what it means that this data will be inserted okay so this data this input will be inserted in this flip flop when the clock goes from low to high okay so you can notice this is going to happen okay so when this <clears throat> when this clock goes from low to high then what will happen this one will be stored here okay basically this one will be stored in this flip flop what that means that means that this one will be this one will be available on the output okay so this will one will be available here this zero will be available here this zero will be available here this zero will, will be available here and this zero will be lost okay so this zero will be lost so this is the idea okay so you can notice this is the idea now after this clock pulse what will happen that situation is here so okay so this is the situation okay so this is the situation you can notice okay so this one will be here so after this okay once after this after this uh positive wave after this positive wave this is the situation now okay now again you can notice okay till this I told you that all these flip flop are positive edge triggered what it means it means that okay till the next 
till the next positive edge this is the next positive edge till the next positive edge everything will be same okay nothing nothing will change till the next positive edge nothing will change you can notice everything is same you can notice the data is same you can notice this data is the same in the in the register we have 1000 okay so you can notice okay till the next positive edge till the next positive edge everything will be same now when the next positive edge will come okay now you can notice now the next positive edge is coming okay now the clock is going from low to high then what will happen again the same thing will happen that because all the flip flop are positive edge triggered so what will happen when the clock will go from zero to high then this flip flop will work what it means that when clock uh, when this clock is going from zero to uh, from low to high then what will happen this data this data will be stored in this flip flop and this data will be stored in this flip flop this data will be stored in this flip flop this this data will be stored in this flip flop and this data will be lost okay this data will be lost remember this is what we are supplying from outside okay this data this is uh, we are supplying from outside remember this is supplied from outside this is supplied from external uh, from outside or i can say okay external source so this you can change okay so this you can change you can notice okay this zero okay if we are supplying this zero we are applying this zero then what will happen after this positive edge this is the situation you will get okay so after the positive edge you can notice this is the situation we will get okay now again till this positive edge again everything will be same till this positive edge everything is same now when this positive edge comes when the clock will go from zero to high then again these this flip flop will be triggered and then again this will happen that this data this is this data that you are applying this data will be inserted in this first flip flop this data will be inserted here this data will be inserted here this data will be inserted here and this will be lost okay so like this so like this is, it is happening okay you can notice on every positive edge on every positive edge you can notice that this is happening on every positive edge this is happening okay so when another positive edge comes then again the data will be shifted okay so you can notice when this positive edge comes then the output will be what the okay the register content will be what that will be 1101 okay so that will be what this is the register content 1101 okay so like this you can just ch check it out okay like this the data you are inserting you are inserting the data like this okay so <clears throat> so this is the idea you can notice okay so let me just explain here so you can notice this is your shift register okay so okay in short okay in short let me write it so basically this we will represent like this so this is your shift register okay this is your shift right so you have basically four flip-flops so this is a four bit register okay and you can notice that all these flip-flops they share the common clock so there is a clock this clock signal so we we have and all these flip-flops they share the common clock okay and you can notice this is the input this is the external input this is the external input okay and this is a shift register this is the right shift register right shift register means basically the data we shift okay inside this register the data is being shifted okay from left to right okay so this is a right shift register now let us assume that initially okay so this q1 q2 q3 q4 okay so let's assume so this is okay so you can notice that this q1 q2 q3 q4 okay so let us assume that initially you have okay this q1 is 0 this q2 is 0 this q3 is 0 so this is the initial content of the register let us assume okay so initially your register has 0 0 0 0 okay and what you are doing you are applying this one okay so this is what you are applying okay at time t equal to 0 at time t equal to 0 this is the external input we are applying we are applying this external input okay and remember this is a uh, you can notice okay so yeah this is the external input we are applying at time t equal to 0 okay now at okay after the first clock pulse time t equal to 1 time t equal to 1 means basically after the first clock pulse because you can notice the clock pulse okay all these flip flop let us assume all these flip flop are positive edge triggered means i can say after the after one positive edge after one positive edge what will happen okay so after one positive edge this will be the scenario that this one will come here okay this zero will go here this zero will go here this zero will go here and this zero will be lost okay so you can notice at time t equal to 1 this will be the situation okay now remember 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 what you are applying here okay so let us assume that you are applying at time t equal to 1 let us assume you are applying 0 okay remember this is this is coming from external uh, source okay so this is what this is the input that we are applying let us assume that at time t equal to 1 we are applying 0 now at time t equal to 2 what will happen 
what it means it means that after one more positive edge okay after one more positive edge what will happen this zero will be stored here this one will be stored here this zero will be stored here this zero will be stored here and this zero will be lost okay now okay at time t equal to two let us let us see what input we are applying let us assume that you are applying the input one okay let's assume we are applying the input one so this input one we are applying okay at time t equal to three what will happen okay time t three okay so you can notice okay so what it means it means after one more positive edge after one more positive edge this will happen that this one will go here this zero will be stored here this one will be stored here this zero will be stored here and this will be lost okay now at time t equal t equal to 3 what you are applying let us assume that at t equal to 3 you are applying 1 okay you are applying 1 at t equal to 3 like this it will go you can notice that data is shifted okay we are shifting the data from left to right okay so the data is shifted to the right okay so that is the reason this is called shift right register this is your shift right register okay okay so this is what we have seen shift right register now you can notice that in our register what is happening okay so this shift right register we have seen this shift right register shift right register we have seen because we are shifting to the right okay the data we are shifting to the right okay in this shift right register what category we have seen we have seen the category of serial input serial output if you notice the register that we have seen this register we have seen and if you notice you can notice that we are reading the output here okay so we are reading the output here and we are inserting from here what it means it means that we are inserting the data in a serial manner okay so for example you can notice okay what it means it means that so first you are inserting one then you are inserting zero then you are inserting one okay then you are inserting one okay then you are inserting one okay so one zero then triple one and then okay triple zero so you can notice this data we are we are we are inserting this data in a serial manner and also we are reading the data in this serial manner okay so we are inserting the data in a serial manner and we are reading the data we cannot read the data here you can notice we cannot read the data here okay so that is the reason we are we are inserting the data in a serial manner we are reading the data in a serial manner so that is the reason this this register that we have seen okay this last register this register that we have seen this register this is actually shift in shift out register okay what it means sorry uh, serial in serial out register what it means it means uh, serial in okay the data we are inserting in a serial manner and the data we are reading in a serial manner so the register that we have seen that is serial in serial out shift register shift right register shift right register so this category we have seen okay serial in serial out so this serial in serial out shift right register we have seen okay so this is the <coughs> this this we have already seen okay okay so for example this is a 5 bit serial in serial out shift right register okay because again in this also the data we are shifting from left to right so that is the reason this is also serial in serial out this means serial in serial out okay shift right register this is also shift right register 5 bit register this is a 5 bit remember because this because there are 5 flip flop so this is a 5 bit serial in serial out shift right register okay again you can notice what is going to happen so whatever data you in, so this is the this is the data that you want to insert okay so this is the input data so this input data we insert in a serial manner and we are reading the data in a serial manner okay so we are inserting in serial manner we are reading the data in a serial manner okay now this is the block diagram okay so you can notice this is the implementation this is the actual implementation but the notation this is the notation so basically I can say that for serial in serial out register for serial in serial out shift okay right register right register what is the block diagram so I can say the block diagram not the implementation this is just a block diagram the block diagram is like this okay so you have this okay so you can notice this is your uh, and the data you are inserting the data from okay uh, from left and you are reading the data from right okay so this is your this is the block diagram so this is you can notice okay this is the data in or and this is the data out okay and you can notice all these flip flop they have they share the common clock so there is a clock because you can notice this 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 all these five uh, all these flip flop they share the common clock okay 
so this is <laughs> this is your serial input serial output shift register okay the next category okay so this we have already seen this this category we have seen okay this s i s o this category in the shift register you can notice okay i told you that we are studying shift register so in the shift register what we have seen okay in the shift register shift register means basically we are shifting the data either to the left or to the right okay so this type of register in which we shift the data of either to the left or right that is your shift register in this shift register the first category we have seen is serial in serial output shift register this we have already seen okay in this serial in serial output register what happens that okay so we insert the data in a serial manner and we read the data in a serial manner okay we are inserting the data in a serial manner i can say that this is serial in okay and i can say this is the serial out okay so you can notice we are inserting the data in a serial manner when we are reading the data in serial manner okay the output is also in a serial manner input is also in a serial manner another category of shift register that we need to study that is serial input parallel output okay what it means it means that okay so this type of register we want to create we want to create this register in which okay the data we insert in a serial manner that is fine okay so we want to insert the data in a serial manner but we want to read the data in parallel manner okay so this is your i can say parallel out so this type of register we want this type of facility we want okay serial input uh, parallel output this type of register i want okay so let us see can we create this register can we create this type of register in which the data is inserted in a serial manner but data the data we read in a parallel manner okay so serial input parallel output shift register okay so can we create this type of register so let me tell you this register means basically the data we are inserting the data remember this is the input data this is the input data we are inserting this input data in a serial manner okay but we want to read the data we want to read the data in a parallel manner okay so this is your parallel out okay serial in parallel out okay so this is the idea now let's see how can we create this type of register so this type of register also we can okay serial in parallel out okay so the data should be inserted in a serial manner but the data should be we should read the data the read the data can be taken out of the register in a parallel manner okay so how can we create this type of register this type of register creation of this type of register is also very 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 simple so what we can do so let me tell you okay so very simple let us assume that you want to create a three bit shift in okay uh, serial in parallel out register okay so this is your this is your register i told you that in the register all these uh, they have, they share the common clock pulse i told you this that all the flip flop they share the common clock pulse let us assume that all these flip flop are positive edge triggered so this is your clock and this clock is applied on all the flip flop and all these flip flop let us assume that these are positive edge triggered remember this flip flop can be negative edge triggered also let us assume that these are negative edge triggered so there is no like okay you don't have to worry about it for example this clock can be negative this flip flop this flip flop can be negative edge triggered also okay for example let us assume these are negative edge triggered okay what it means so this is how we denote the negative edge triggered flip flop so it means that these flip flop all these flip flop these are negative edge triggered flip flop okay okay anyway this doesn't matter because i told you that in the register all the flip flop they share the common clock so this same clock is applied on all these uh, on all these flip flop now okay so let us assume these are d flip flop d flip flop d flip flop okay what i want i want ser serial in parallel out means the data must be inserted in a serial manner okay so the data the input must be uh, the data must be inserted in a serial manner okay but i should read i should be okay i should be able to read the data in the okay uh, i should be able to read uh, read the data in the uh, in the parallel manner okay so basically i should be able to read the data in parallel manner okay so you can notice that this type of situation we have this is q this is q and this is q and what we want so let's assume this is q1 this is q2 this is q3 okay i told you that so the data must be inserted in the serial manner but i should be able to read the data in parallel manner so all we have to do is just this okay this this is all we have to do now you can notice that now you can read the data now you can read the data in parallel now we can read the data in parallel okay and but we have to insert the data in serial manner 
okay so you can notice this is your serial input parallel output so if you want to insert the data you have to do this in the serial manner okay one bit at a time okay so one bit at a time you have to insert this but if you want to read the data then you can read in parallel okay so this is your serial input parallel output shift register okay so quite simple okay and this is the block diagram you can notice that the data is inserted in the serial manner but the data you can read in the parallel manner so this is the block diagram okay and this is your this is the waveform you can notice okay so for this four bit serial input parallel output register this is the waveform you can check it out okay so for this register you can notice okay for this register you can notice this is the, because okay uh, for this register the output you can take in parallel okay so this is your this is the waveform you can notice that the data that we are inserting okay on the positive edge okay so this is the positive edge so you can notice this is the positive edge okay okay when this clock is going from low to high then you can notice this is the data that you are inserting this data zero you are inserting so this data will be inserted okay this data you are inserting from here so when this clock goes from low to high then this data will be stored here okay so you can notice the data will be stored on q0 okay this data will be installed on q0 so this q0 okay so you cannot this q0 will be will become equal to this data and you can notice that this q0 whatever was there in q0 that will go to q1 okay whatever was on q1 that will go to q2 whatever was on q2 that will go to q3 okay like this on the next positive edge this is the next positive edge again what will happen this data will be inserted on q0 okay so this data you can notice the q0 will become one so the data will be inserted on q0 whatever was on q0 on q0 you had zero so whatever was on q0 that will go to q1 whatever was on q1 that will go to whatever was on q1 that will go to q2 okay and similarly whatever was on q2 that will go to q3 so like this so this is a quite simple okay this is this is how you can notice the behavior of this serial input parallel output that shift register the next category is parallel input serial output okay so this is the next category so we have seen this uh, this type of register we have seen this type of register we have seen the third type of register that we need to see is parallel input serial output what it means it means that if you want to insert the data in the register then you can insert in the parallel okay so if you want to in for example if you want to okay let's assume a b c d so if you want to insert the data inside this register then you can do this in the parallel manner but if you want to read the data then you only have to do it in the serial manner okay so you can notice this is your parallel in okay so i can say that this is a, i can say this is parallel in and serial out okay so this type of register okay so this is your parallel in serial out register so we are inserting the data in parallel okay but if you want to read the data if you want to take out the data from the register if you want to if you want to read the data from the register then you have to do this in the serial manner this is your parallel in serial out uh, parallel in serial out register okay and the fourth category what is the fourth category the fourth category is parallel input parallel output okay parallel input parallel output this we have already seen okay this category we have already seen where okay the data we are we insert in the parallel manner okay and the data we read in parallel manner i told you that this is not a shift register okay this category this is not a shift register because we are not shifting the data you can shift either shift to left or shift to right okay so we are not there is no shifting of data to the left or right okay there is no shifting of data to the left or right so this is not a shift register this is not a shift register this is a shift register i told you this is a shift register this is a shift register why because we are inserting the data in parallel that is fine but okay but to read the data if you want to read the data then you can notice the data is shifted from left to right so basically the data we are shifting to the right okay similarly here we are okay we are reading we are inserting the data in the serial manner so if you want to insert the data then you have to shift the shift the data to the right okay if you want to read the data you can read the data in parallel okay so anyway this pipo this is not a shift register okay so let us see how can we create this uh, this parallel in serial uh, so this parallel in serial out shift register how can we create this what it means it means that we want to insert the data in parallel okay so in all these flip flop let us assume you have three bit register okay then now okay so this is your three bit register this is your d flip flop okay so you can notice this is the d flip flop now 
okay the same clock pulse i told you that in the register all the flip flop they share the common clock pulse so this is the clock pulse and let us assume that all these flip flop these these are positive edge triggered okay now now what now what we want we want to insert the data in parallel so if you want to insert the data you should be able to do in parallel okay so the insertion of data must be done in parallel okay so very simple the insertion of data you can do in parallel okay so i can say this is how you can insert the data in parallel but okay so the insertion you can notice the data insertion is done in parallel if you want to insert the data the data insertion is done in parallel okay but if you want to read the data okay once you have inserted the data once you have inserted the, the, the data if you want to read the data then it should be done in serial manner it should be done let us assume you have inserted the data let us assume you have inserted the data now once this data has been inserted now we should be able to read this data in the serial manner okay so how to do this how to make these connections okay how to make these connections so let us see this how to make these connections okay so my question is so you want to insert the data in parallel that is fine okay so we are inserting the data in parallel okay but we want to read the data in serial manner if you want to read the data then you should be able to do this in the serial manner okay so here this parallel in this is fine okay this we have done okay because we are inserting the data in parallel so this is this is what we have done but how to read the data in serial manner okay because you can notice how to make these connections this is what i want to ask okay i want to ask how to make these connections because you can notice let us assume you okay you are storing this data let us assume this uh, this data you are storing let us assume this is zero this is one this is one then what will happen when this clock when this clock is going from low to high okay on the positive edge of this clock what will happen so this data will be inserted okay so this q1 so you can notice this q1 will become zero okay this q2 will become one and this q3 will become one that is fine okay so this so this data we have stored now what we have done we have stored this data zero one one okay so now in our register in our register we have stored 0 1 1 okay so this data we have stored 0 1 1 this data we have stored okay but now how to read this data we want to read this data let us assume that i want to read this data okay 0 1 1 basically i want to read this data this whole data 0 1 1 i want to read okay now but i can i only want to read in the serial manner i want to read in the serial manner okay remember i can't read like this okay if i read like this then that is parallel in parallel out I cannot do this okay because I told you if you do like this then this is parallel reading okay you are reading the data in parallel manner okay so we can't do this okay I want to read the data in the serial manner so if I if I am reading from here let us assume I am reading from here okay then I can only read Q3 I cannot read Q2 because there is no connection here how to make these connections this is my question how to make these connections in this parallel input serial output shift register okay just pause the video and you think about it how can we make the connection okay now let me answer this question okay so the answer is very simple that in this parallel input serial output shift register in this because you can notice how to make this connection this there is a big problem here because how to make these connections how to make these connections that is the problem okay what what should i do like what should i do okay what should i do so you can notice let me give you the solution in parallel input shift uh, parallel input okay serial output shift register in this what we do the we create we put okay basically using the multiplexer we do the connection okay so these connections we are going to do using the multiplexer okay so what we are going to do in this we have a, a new input we have basically okay in this we use so basically in this we use something called shift comma okay this this okay so this we have something called shift load this input we have shift load input okay shift load input or i can say shift bar load input what this input does okay so let me call it s bar l okay let me call it okay in short let me call it s bar l okay so what this input does let me tell you okay so this input is like this this input is like this s bar l what this input this input if this is zero if this is zero then what you do then basically you do shift out okay then you you do shift out okay basically then you do shift right or i can say shift out okay so if this is zero and if if this is one if this is one then load so you can notice in this parallel input see uh, in this parallel input serial output shift register this is the problem the problem is how to make these connections because okay we have done this 
this panel input we have done but how to how to read the data in serial manner how to read the data in serial manner that is the question and for that we use this input okay we use this input shift bar load okay so this input we use okay and why this name from where this name is coming this name is coming because when this is one it means i am loading the data and when this is zero then it means i am shifting the data okay so you can notice when this is zero then i am shifting the data and when this is one then basically i am loading the data okay now let me change my figure okay so now i can create the figure like this okay so what i can do i can put multiplexer here okay so what i can do is let me put multiplexer here so i can put this multiplexer so this is your multiplexer here okay and this is your multiplexer here and what we do so you can notice this is the this is the input okay so this is fine this is the parallel input a okay now this is what we want and this is your clock okay because in the register all the flip-flop they share the common clock so this is your clock and all these flip-flop these are positive edge trigger let's assume okay so now you can notice what we want so we want to make these connections so what i want to say is that when this signal when this signal okay so here also i can put this multiplexer so let me put this multiplexer here also so what i am saying is this this signal you put here okay the multiplexer so this signal you have here multiplexer these are your multiplexer these are two by one multiplexer okay all these are two by one multiplexer and this what is this this is your s bar l okay so this is your s bar l now you can notice that when this s bar l is one okay so when this is one so this is your this is your multiplexer remember this is your two by one multiplexer okay so when this s bar l is one then what should happen then then we should load okay so then we should load so what i can say i can say that if okay so here i can connect a okay here i can connect b and here i can connect c okay so this is the point okay now you can notice when this when the signal is one okay then what will happen when this when this is one then what will happen then basically this data we are loading okay so this a this with this will come here okay and this b will come here so this is your d and this is your q a okay this is your d this is your q b this is d and this is q c so you can notice when this the when this input when this input is one then it means we are loading the data so when this input is one then this data will be loaded in these uh, in in this in this register the data will be loaded okay okay now so the data will be loaded here now the next point when this is zero then shifting will happen okay when this is zero then what should happen then shifting should happen so for that what we need to do so means when this is zero then what should happen this data should go here okay this data should go here so that is the reason i am saying that when this is zero then this should happen when this is zero then this should happen now you can notice that when this signal will become zero when this signal will become zero then what will happen okay then what is going to happen when this signal becomes zero then this is going to happen that this this out this this okay uh, this data basically this qa this qa will go to qb this qb will go to qc okay and this qc uh, will be basically okay will be lost or uh, we are reading the qc so this is how you can create okay this is your parallel uh, parallel input serial output register i hope this point is clear to everyone because i told you we are reading we are okay this is the topic parallel input serial output so what we want we want to insert the data in parallel okay but we want to read the data in serial manner okay so now if you do this then okay this is fine because we are inserting the data in parallel this is fine but how to read the data in serial manner that is the problem how to make these connections that is the problem remember i cannot make this type of okay because if i if i make this type of connection then that means parallel out i don't want parallel out i want to read the data in a serial manner okay so what i need to do so for that what i need to do i need to create i need to use one more signal okay one more input i need to use so this input i i use when this is one then i will load the data and when this is zero then i will shift the data so you can notice when this is one then i am loading the data i am loading the data into the register load into register i can say load into register okay and when this is zero then basically do the shift right okay then you read the data okay so this is this is your parallel input serial output shift register okay okay <laughs> next the next okay uh this this next one what is this this is parallel access shift register 
okay what is this this parallel access i told you parallel access this is not parallel input parallel output this is parallel access shift register what it means this is a shift register in which basically you have these functionalities okay so what is this in this parallel access shift register this is your parallel accept shift parallel access shift register so let me call it p a s r okay parallel access parallel access okay means parallel input parallel output shift register okay so what it means that in this register we have we have the shifting capacity also we, we have the shifting functionality also and we have the parallel input parallel output functionality also so basically we want this type of register okay so i can say we want this type of register in which in which we can do the parallel input also if you want you can do the parallel input if you want to read the data you can read the data in parallel okay so basically this functionality we want we want parallel in okay so parallel in parallel out if you want to read the data in parallel manner you can do this if you want to insert the data in parallel manner you can do this also if you want to insert the data in serial manner you should be able to do this and if you want to okay read the data in serial manner you should be able to do this basically all these four functionality we want okay so this is your parallel access shift register what it means it means this is a parallel access means parallel input parallel output and shift register means okay also shift in shift out okay so you can notice if you want to insert in serial manner then also okay so serial serial input is also allowed parallel input is also allowed serial output is also allowed parallel output is also allowed okay so basically this type of register we want in which all these four functionality we have okay now how to create such register so that is the question so again how to create such a register for that again you can notice that okay basically we can use one input and that input will decide whether we are doing this or this or this or this okay so one one input we can use one input we can use and that input will decide basically this input we can use okay again uh, we can we use basically again we use this input we use what again shift load again this input we use okay again what i am saying i am saying that if this is if this is one then basically then parallel load if this is one then what you do then you parallel load okay and if this is zero if this is zero then basically then you do serial load okay so basically then you do serial or i can say uh, then uh, then you then it will behave like a serial okay shift register then it will behave like a okay serial input serial output and okay and when this is one then it will behave like a parallel input parallel output okay so this input we can use okay let's see how to do this so again this is your block so this is your this is how the uh, how this register can be implemented remember remember one thing in the gate exam they are not going to ask you to create this uh, create this because gate exam is a objective exam they will not ask you to create this in the when when gate exam was subjective at that time this type of questions they used to ask okay we will solve one question one old gate question we will solve in which they are asking us to create a register so they have given the objective they have given the functionality that they want in the register okay and they want us to create the register okay but nowadays you can notice the gate exam is objective exam so you don't have to worry about creating the register so the creating the register you don't have to worry okay you have to analyze the register for example in the gate exam if they give you this register then you should be able to analyze what this register is doing okay so you can notice in this register we have four four functionality if you want to insert the data in parallel manner you can do this if you want to read the data in parallel manner you can do this and if you want serial input serial output that also you can do okay if you want serial input serial output that also you can do so okay i told you that if you want to okay use uh, if you want to create this type of register basically if you want to create this type of register then what you can do you can use this input okay shift load okay so this input you can use okay and i am saying that when this is one then basically this will behave like a okay parallel input parallel output and when this is zero when this input is zero then it will behave like a shift in uh, serial in serial out okay so now you can notice here okay you can notice that when this load will be when this when this will be zero then you will it will behave like a so you can notice when this is zero then what is happening then it is behaving like a shift register okay you can just check it out okay when this signal is zero then what is happening 
then because these are multiplexers okay so when the signal is zero then what will happen then you can notice this parallel input is disallowed okay now this parallel input will not work okay because when this signal is zero then this is a multiplexer in this multiplexer okay this this input will be selected similarly in this multiplexer this input will be selected this input will be selected this input will be selected so you can notice that when this when this input is zero then it is behaving like a shift register okay and similarly when this load is equal to one when this load is equal to one then this is behaving like a p p i p o okay then this is behaving like a p i p o okay so this is this <coughs> so in this register basically we have all these functionality okay so we have seen many different type of shift register okay in this lecture a lot of different type of shift register we have seen okay now in the next lecture we will see some more uh, some more different type of shift register okay so you can notice okay so in let me just conclude the, okay so we have we are studying register register is a n bit storage device okay so all the registers they are storage device that is fine but depending on how the data is moving okay whether the data inside the register whether the data is moving in a serial manner or in a parallel manner okay we are inserting the data in serial manner you are inserting the data in a parallel manner or you are reading the data in parallel manner or you are reading the data in serial manner based on the data movement i can say that register are classified in many different categories okay so in okay now you have something called parallel input parallel output register okay this register you have parallel input parallel output register and another category is a shift register another category is shift register in this shift register category what we have shift register means basically in 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 shift register what we have we have basically shifting capability either the data is shifted to the left or the data is shifted to the right okay so this type of movement okay so shift left or shift right this type of movement is uh, present in this shift register okay so in this shift register we have seen many different different type of registers like serial input serial output register serial input parallel output register okay parallel input serial output register so these we have seen also we have seen okay parallel access okay also we have seen parallel access shift register parallel access shift register basically this parallel access shift register is a combination of siso pipo okay so this is a combination basically okay so parallel okay shift register so you can notice this is parallel access shift register this is a combination of siso pipo okay so the combination of these two okay. so these we have seen we have seen this we have seen this 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 and we have seen this okay so all these different type of registers we have seen in the next class we will see some more different type of registers okay so in the shift register some more we have actually okay so some more shift registers we have some more shift registers okay so what are some more shift registers for example we have some, some variations of shift registers we have okay one is ring counter one is okay ring counter twisted ring or johnson counter okay bidirectional shift register universal shift register and linear feedback shift register okay so these are different variations these are type of shift register okay remember i told you that counter is a type of register counter is a type of register counter is basically a special type of register in which uh, in which counter basically goes through a predetermined set of uh, sequence of states okay so this counter we will study after some time so right now we will not study these two but we will study this 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 in the next lecture okay so in the next lecture we will study these three okay